Um, let's do some sleeper. Um, and if what's it called is up when we're not sleeper, we'll do the evil dead game. If it's not working yet, it's we won't do the evil dead game. You know, pretty simple. I know it's not up for Xbox because it's kind of been broken. Because they pushed the release it the release it up a couple hours and it broke everything. Well, not broke. They just didn't change it for Xbox. Apparently, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's get back to reading. Let me do my stream labs. We have zero currency. Um, okay. Now, can we buy my currency at mint dice? Can I buy these yet? What do we buy? Before you enter the office, you can hear the sound of a buyer working the heavy bag, hammering it, the chain creaking as it shakes with each hit. In the sense, Sabine doesn't seem to uh, finish the sentence. Sitting on the stool, looking at the terminal in the corner, searching through the S and ARP data you pulled from those cycles ago. All the cycles ago. How have you been? I'm all sleeper, I have been happy to no longer be hunted, they smile. Yadigan has plenty to deal with, and without Yannick, I'm free. Glance nervously at Rabaya. Rabaya stops punching, and in the silence, you can hear her breathing hard. Sabine looks over at her, and you, see sa and you sense something between them. Realize you haven't seen them together since they try to kill each other in the same unit. A lot has changed since then. They hooked him up like a puppet. Rabaya hits the bag, read that thing in his head so they could control him, push the old Yannick out. I don't know why he left let them in. Rabaya throws a few more punches, but it's a lesson, don't let them in. Another flurry, Yadigan shouldn't deal with corporations, and we never will again, she spits. <coughs> Rabaya comes away from the bag. It's a war out there with Yannick murdered. They're looking for the killer. Claims of a coup in the organization. People are taking advantage. She rubs her head. No good will come of this. Sabine interjects. Not true. Come now. They will turn to you. They turn to you. Now their connection has been broken. I've been looking for removing the trackers from the implants and the Yadigan's enforcers. It is a significant job. I, I think with time I can do that. Uh, I can do the surgeries. Rabaya scoffs time. Yadigan will tear herself apart in the next five cycles. She thumps the bag again and walks away in the far side of the unit. So, um, Sabine watches her go, concerned. She'll get there. Then says to you, now looking away from Rabaya, it's impossible to deal with all this. What's um, now for you? Sabine looks over at Rabaya. I want to help fix this mess if I can. There's the implants, and I want to return to my surgery. The loved one needs doctors. What I understand now is the Yadigan can be something if we wanted to be. Coming from the and Arp, from the core worlds, and I saw all, the, uh, all I saw was gang. And with Yannick keeping me on a tight leash, this shudder, this shudder, Rabaya believes, um, and I want that belief. I look unsure, and I also want to be done with S and R, but I doubt they are done with me. When it's the way rubbing their shoulders. Um, are you a Rabaya? Yes, Sleeper, is that obvious, this smile? I've been wanting to say, Sabine begins nervously. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you from where I came from. I've apologized a bit before, but I want to again. They pause properly. When I looked at that on the Sleeper program, it was to try to help people like you grit their teeth, but after all the cycles here, being pushed down, pushing around, trying to survive, all they got away from me. When you turned up, they sighed, it shook me up. They ran a hand through their hair, but I ended up here, so... Look at Rabaya. Oh, of course, they reached into the pocket to take out the handful of vials. These are the last of my case. So we can have them to drop them into your hands. After these last few, I don't know what we can do with this and our connection broken. Look down, but I know there are other ways to repair other pharmaceuticals. Other pharmaceuticals, I even heard them... There are some labs out in the Greenway. Perhaps they can help. How much did you give me? Let me try. I'm sorry, I can't do more. Thank you for everything. They look away, eyes bright with tears. Rabaya crosses back to you both and sits beside Sabine. Look at each other, and you can't help but smile at the idea of them together. What are you two plotting, Rabaya grins? Sabine laughs, and that's the sound is uh, a welcome one. You watch the two of them. You watch the two of them teasing each other and smile. Later, when you leave, you take that handful of vials out of your pocket and look at them. Still feel the core of anger deep down inside, and you don't know if they will ever leave. But S and Arb doesn't owe you any more. They can't because this place, these people own you. They are what makes you get up every cycle. They are what keeps you breathing. Do 
but the vials of William walked through the lowen. Your senses turned to every sight, every smell, and every sound, soaking it all in living. You gave me three. That's plenty. And I will then uh, go for more perks, I guess. I guess if I need to in a jiffy. Go to bed. What the frick? Um, scrap. Yeah. I don't care. Inject stabilizer. It's not like we need the money and stuff like that. That's not bad. Who needs to win a jiffy? Um. Do I have your stuff? I have three mushies. Is that the right one you want? It is the right one you want. There you go. Three days. Gotta do the low end stuff still. Gotta go up top still. Greenwood is. Greenway is very important to us. The aviary. Achievement unlocked. Spore catcher. For the samples collecting skills to good use. Uh, you get those from down here, right? The grove? Yeah. Throw one of these in. Right, we need more. Forgot you need three. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'm gonna buy some food. Nope. Four days for you. What did you want again? We have the samples. I don't have the green oil samples, I would use them all. Okay. So we can go back? Oh, I guess we're gonna sleep over here. No, we gotta go buy food. Right. Getting hungry. So I'll be eating at the bar. We can do the low end. We can go up top. I don't think I can do anything over here. Farm stacks. Nothing I need. Still the harvest. I'm okay. Beautiful. I can go work the bar.
The gruel slides from the bottle into the lumpy recycled glass, a pale ga grassy yellow under the overlook warm lights. Spacer nods and takes a drink, bringing it up to their face in both hands like an offering bowl. This is the good stuff, the stuff Tala says is aged in wooden cra um, casks. Stored in some closed off part of the old station, among um, corroded wires and softly looping systems. So sometimes it is hard to tell if Tala is joking. Either way, you will like pouring this stuff. It gets on your fingers, but it's, if you rub them together, you can smell the monster drink. After the end, seed mushrooms and wood and the alcohol evaporates. By those who order it too, the aged grill is kept beneath the bar. Open to order only by those who know it's there. Quiet space sitting at the bar right now. Busy yourself. Pull a rag from your overalls and rub down the bar. Grill smell, smell. The thing that's disappearing into the stale station air. Overlook is quiet with the cycle. Sound lifter is busy offloading. Regulars like an at the old food. Regulars likely at the old work exchange or queuing for work at the Havenage shipyards. You were in the right mood for a quiet shit and cycles drag along with uh, the overlook is empty and claustrophobic. But the one that caught you is just right, and in the moment, some kind of calm has descended as you tinker away at the bar, lining up the bottles as, you th as your thoughts expand to fill the space. Suddenly, you hear a heavy clunking at the door, it creaks open, and a huge cylindrical metal tank tumbles through, slamming into the door uh, floor. Crap. Tell breezes in front of the behind it. A row of hair and bright eyes. Crap, crap, crap. Tell Sleeper, she ducks behind the cover, uh, the bar, and comes over. Can you help me with this? You look at the huge metal tank suspiciously. Uh, I'm coming. You come around the bar and get to one side of the tank. Okay, it says Tala on my count. One, two, three. Both heave the tank up standing. Somehow you hold it in place, struggling to keep it steady. Uh, Tala? In the back comes a voice from behind the tank. So now you manage to lug the huge thing into the back room, where you place it in one corner, dwarfing the rest of the contents, c contents of the small room as you do you hear a crunch. You stand back and look at the expired rashes oozing out from under the tank. Oh crap, Tala looks at you apologetically. I know you like those. That's okay. Push your crush rations to one side, that's the end of that. Tala looks exhausted and rubs the um, shoulders, Francis, I swear to you. Nothing up. That's just eyes. He was supposed to be back from Athenian, up in the Greenway by now, back with her agree oil. She leans against the tank, it seems like he got lost again or joined the high five commute. The agree oil. That's for other uh, is for the bars near here. Spacer's shore as heck don't come to the overlook for the ambience. She looks through the open door to check if anyone can hear her. I should hollow tank, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. She smiles, welcome sleeper to the Overlook Distillery. Distillery. You look around the dank back room. Need some work. She picks up some paint flacking from the metal walls. Well, picks at it. I might need some help, though. She struggles you up for it. She knocks the tank again. Could be fun. Happy to help. Okay, she grabs you by the shoulders. I'm excited. Turns around and looks at the tank. Or can we chop this thing in half? One half for fermentation. Uh, the other we turn into the still. We also need to gather the ingredients. Looks back in the, um, she turns back and looks at you. You look more like a chopper than a gatherer. She smiles. How about you build the still and tell while I work in the rest? Oh, wait, sleeper. I have an idea. The is grinning now and makes you nervous. To make up for the rations, that boy put a kitchen in here, too. A little bit. Make it work. Turns back to the tank. This is going to be great. Says to herself, you look at the dented tank in the bare room. But she has a vision. Tala nudges you out of the back room and closes the door. As you go back to the bar, you hear the banging and thumping again. Spacer finishes up their drink and you nod in their direction as they leave. You can't quite tell if it's a gesture of sympathy or good luck. So much for a quiet shift. We drive. Build the still. We'll use a syringe tonight, I guess. How dare you? Inject me, baby. And go to bed. The bar, please. Well, Aviary is one day away, right? The aviary is the most important thing right now. Two days away. Okay. The 
Bahara comes second. Sorry, man. I got like a mighty fine reroll here. I'll throw the four in. Let's go. Reroll. Okay. Come on. Son of a. You won't do it? Me could, but I doubt it. Okay, we'll go buy some food. Are you done? No. We're gonna buy food. Can I still buy food here? Nope. Okay. Um. Well, we're gonna lose an extra HP. That's because all the stinking food places are closed, man. What the heck? There's really no other place for me to actually get food. Under the exchange. I know I could have used some dice for it, but like I could have. I just kind of forgot I couldn't do anything. I can just buy food from you, really. I guess we can just self-repair the damage we take. I'm not that worried. If we even take damage, I think we do. We'll make up for it. Starving. We didn't take any. Okay, never mind. One more day for the fur of the aviary. You are done. Emphasis. Emphasis is preparing the grill caps. He has uh, had to heavily adapt the recipe. He says, but the smell is already incredible. Uh, it emanates from a strange purpleless white bulb you have never seen before, and he's like slicing it finely. Brushes and slices the mushrooms and then places them in the wok. Slice the bulb in the oil. They caramelize there in that well worn crucible. He has liquid, transparent, and opaque, and then turns down the heat. A sprinkle of leaves in the funnel is the final touch. We have a moment, sleeper. He smiles. Do you have a story? Something in the scent of the food gives you a feeling in the soldier. Something distant and melancholic. It seems like the story should match the feeling somehow and maybe you will feel better for telling it. Start by explaining what it was like to work alongside the other sleepers, or at least what you remember of it after you, uh, your long trip of a bomb to the void. Try to explain that the close proximity you lived and worked in didn't always end and uh, endanger what? And gender, I'm sorry, that's kind of closeness you might imagine. Man, mostly, each sleeper was just as lonely as another. I do remember one, however, an extractor who, well, you ended up on an asteroid extraction to um, detail with. Like most sleepers, they had a few nascent memories left behind from the person they were emulated from. Those memories almost exclusively focused on the daughter they could never fully recall. All they had of her was a handful of half or rooted memories and emotions, both someone else and also their own. You recall how one cycle of the sleepers simply kicked off from the asteroid into the black, their propulsion units firing until they were empty. Tell Emphis how you watched them fade away, and went down suddenly lost in the void. After that, you stare inquiringly for a long time, watching Emphis cook. Emphis finishes cooking, and meets your eye. I'm sorry, sleeper, for your troubles. He puts the walk to one side. I appreciate you staring with me. He smiles, and I'm hoping it lightens you up a little. Passes you a bowl, and heaps the gordels into it. Yellow color mixing with the pale sauce and warts and blooms. Orals and blooms. Eat. This is delicious filling. It warms you as you eat your way. Uh, it, warm, it warms you as you eat in a way you weren't even sure your body could be warm. It is a small mercy, you think? The SNR left you this pleasure. Many of the features and frames are there to stimulate human experience. You know that much? Emulated minds cannot be rewired. 
So their need for embodied experience must be met. That's why you breathe even when you do not need air. Without the simulation, the sensation of drowning would be unbearable. Food serves another purpose. Your frame is able to metabolize it and produce energy from the raw material. Vitamins and minerals and access uh, are excess, of course. Your frame only needs raw power, so much is wasted. And yet, while you eat this food and feel the warmth, nothing feels wasted. It all means something to you. And as you finish, Emphis takes the bowl the last of his cleaning. cleaning. Smile such as you and neither of you and neither of you feel the need to say anything more. Instead, you simply exchange nods and walk your separate ways back to the bright market somehow changed. What the heck? Is this allowed? Um, I guess we finished the bar. Throwing some four bangers. Tala? Tala stands back from the newly finished still and tub, hands on hips. Look at this, she grins. The overlooked distillery, distillery in its glory squeezes you around the shoulders. Thank you. How is Scourging? scourging? What scourging? Got scousing in ingredients. Scourging. I'm sorry, I'm dying. Tell us, Miles. I think I've got most of it covered between the food factories in the low end and the farm stacks in the greenway. However, she pauses. There is an issue. What's the problem? Well, Grill, the drink, as you probably guessed, is named the Grill of the Mushroom. That's what gives it the golden color and earthy taste. Alcohol is infused with the mushrooms along with a mix of spices. Is it Grill caps to make Grill? But no one wants to supply us. The, the distilleries on the Greenway are taking all the stock from the farms out there, hard to get a single cap across the founder's gap. Ever have an idea? We can grow our royal caps here. She gestures to the increasingly equipment filled back room. I can bring you the mushrooms. Rich your vision? Any outside supplier means they take a cut? Okay, maybe not you, but someone somewhere takes a cut. Tell it, put your hand to the wall. Still? Well, we made it st uh, We made it still. We set all this up. How hard can growing the mushrooms be? You don't need the light, they barely need soil. We can do this, he pauses, or at least we could if we had someone to grow them from. Someone to grow them from like spores. <laughs> exactly, suddenly you feel that you walked into a trap and you are the perfect person to give me the spores. She nods rapidly. Think about it, you built the still, you were great with plants, you know the eye like the back of your hand. You need to go on. Uh, are you flattering me? If it's working, then yes. She grins sheepishly. Look, I can't leave the bar and the other people picking up shifts. Grimaces, I'm saying it has to be you. Fine. Wonderful, you will love it over on the greenway, I think, all that fresh air, open space. Turns your, sees your expression, okay, I'm done, I'm done. Turns back to look at the still in the fleshling distillery, distillery, forming around it. Really something though, isn't it? And one to or not, you really have to agree. You want three of them. <coughs> well, I can go do that. I have one upgrade point. I'm gonna reroll. Me too, please. I'll be ready for tomorrow. Let's go turn these in. Ship is here, you can buy more uh, stuff. Couple of days for that. I will buy all these scrap. Thank you for that. That's 20 HP. Um, I guess we'll just go spend some more on the, uh, the spores. I think that's the way you do it. We can buy food, we can buy food again, so it's no big deal. Was, we're kind of gated around this, it seems like. That's fine, son of a gun. Um, we'll go buy more food. I wouldn't to buy food tonight, we're good. We can go to bed. I'll sleep over here. The dorm. The 
This is pretty good. Give it to me. Okay, we got four of the Matip Sang, whatever it is. One Gru Oil. Okay. Well, then I'll plant these. I've got another one going too. For this uh, important. Go ahead and do this. There we go. We'll get this going. We'll turn whatever we can into the, uh, the, the, uh, Rita? Rika? Rita? Rika? We only have one Gru Oil, so there's not a- unless you give me three. Rico. Yeah, okay, that's why I didn't really want to do it. So, um, okay. It's no big deal. We needed a two for what's his face, but this is fine. Rico. Rico meets you with the entrance in the lab, leaning on their crutch with a glint in her eye. Welcome me, sleeper. I'd like to tell you a story. She makes her way down the corridor that leads back to towards the main commune building. People first crossed uh, what we call the Founder's Gap in the greenway where they did so against the wishes of Andre and Erlen. At the time, Erlen was trying to stabilize the Union and establish control over the Eye in the wake of Solheim's collapse. It was chaos, complete factions, competing factions, bowling systems, too many dead and injured from the riots. That was his priority. They both crossed through the glass roof tunnel, the greenway outside crowded with vines and branches, dappling the light. Erlen had written the greenway off. Cut off from the rest of the station, the length of the dome to a broken spoke. Claimed it was only a matter of time before everything here would die. He refused to let anyone abandon their duty to the Union and Cross. Traitors to the cause were as good as. Ryu continues making her slow but steady way into the inner gardens of the commune. There were there were many of us, but we believed what was here. But we believed what was here was worth saving. We had to keep our plan secret until we crossed. Some of us left people behind. She paused to catch her breath. Which crackling, it was difficult to know if, um, if from effort or emotion. We knew what we found was a disaster, nothing like you see here. What we found was a disaster. Half of the greenway was leaking oxygen into space, the plants flashed frozen. Frozen. Other half was a swamp of mulch, and its decaying matter clogged every system. We worked hard, we lost good people, we cleaned up uh, and closed up, but it was never going to be enough. Many, many cycles, we all knew the place was doomed, but we kept on working, take, talking less and less because we couldn't face it. We all developed the Death Wish. Greenway was going to die, and so would we. What changed? Everything Rico smiles, we crossed some invisible boundary, tipped some biological scale, and the Greenway started to recover. Plants flow, uh, flowered, crops sprouted. For the first time, we reaped the fruits of our labor. Rico smiled, looking up at you. We thought it was us that we managed to do just enough in the cycle of decay. Thought we had saved the Greenway until today. We passed in the grow beds of the commune, which was a hustle and bustle of Haifa members planting the harvesting. For a while, Rico was quiet, and you both simply observed the hypnotic movements of the work crews, the eager chatter washing over you like the wave Rico was smiling to herself. She have known, of course, that her arrogance was unfounded, but we needed the belief back then, we needed the myth to bring more people across the gap. You both moved into a smaller corridor, Rico following some direction unknown to you. What you have shown me is that back then, the green way saved us, not the other way around. Tell me, have you ever consumed one of the Master K or Grill caps you've ever grown? Yes. I imagine they were delicious, nutritious. Nutritious. Well, it's uniquely so, she amuses. After all, they were designed for you. We give us a mischievous look. At first, I thought it was the, um, the location they were grown in that made the mushrooms uh, from the aviary, from the labs, or from the grove different to each other. But what I have come to understand is that the, it is the person growing them. The Metasuzdake and Grill caps you brought me are totally unique. Containing compounds never usually found in similar specimens in my possession. Many of those compounds aren't even digestible for humans, but for a sleeper like you. Rico smiles as she leads you into the internal garden of the commune, where the Hypha members have planted species from all over the greenway. Back when the tide turned, when the greenway started to recover, we all felt something in response. It was as if this place was not just alive, as if the forest is alive, but alive in other ways. Communicative, responsive, we shrugged it off at the time, but now I understand why. Because it's to turn to you, this place is responding to us, adapting itself to us. It is growing fruiting bodies for you. Uh, for me, it's adapting, changing. It is, in short, displaying all signs of sentience. Greenway is sentient. 
perhaps not the green way, but the ecosystem itself or something within it. We can go on the bench within the peaceful gardens and just use free to join her. When you have what you when you have been growing the groves and Masakis in their aviary, there's best a species so familiar to the Greenway. Have you discovered any others? Yes. I'd like to see those. Please bring them to me next time you are here. We got uh, this son of a gun. Club head caps. And some gum. You look around the garden, amazed at these um, sense of peace within it. We go interrupt the silence. There is a species of mushroom that I haven't seen in years. It was dark, short, shaped like a club. We first found it in those early days when we were working to save this place. It was found around the time that we started to lose our first members. To come into some affection, some mole growing deep in the dark mulch that drowned in this place. At that point, we thought we were lost, and then these mushrooms emerged from the same black mold. We tested them and saw that they contained some compounds that counter, um, counteracted the mold, contained an antidote. antidote. Of course, as a bond, as a salt, this as part of the natural process of the ecosystem, even the time scales seemed absurdly true. But when I am wondering if the antidote was a gift, we're going to meet your eyes. Perhaps if you are patient, you will receive your gift too, sleeper. We'll sit down for a while. Rico was seemingly done telling stories for the day. You watch the light playing off the leaves and plants around you and wonder what forces could be in play in this place. After a while, it's time to leave with a quiet nod to Rico, leaving her to her memories. You want three of them? Of course you do. Well, one, two die, what do we do? There's not much we can do. I'm just gonna throw it into here for fun, forehead. Hope I get one. If not, we'll just go, you know, eat. Yeah, we got one. Um, let's get a bite to eat. Go to bed. We're at a good slash marker territory. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a slash marker. I'm also gonna do a self repair. May as well, like, we don't need them for the money. I can just buy them every couple days. Until I know for certain that we actually have the auto the, the thing up and running. So. Give me just one second and I'll be right back. 